Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about English grammar and in English grammar we are going to focus our discussion on subject verb agreement. This is your teacher Hira Gupta, assistant professor in the department of basic science and humanities. You can contact me at 8972618401 or you can write to me at hirak.ac at the rate gmail.com. Let us try and understand what we mean by grammar. Well, grammar is a set of rules and laws that helps us to understand, speak and write English language in an effective manner. Out of the different parts of grammar, today we are going to focus on subject verb agreement. Let us start with the rules of subject verb agreement. Subjects and verbs must agree in number. The verb must agree with the subject and the number of persons. Well, let us try to understand what does this sentence mean. Let us start with the sentence, she writes every day. What does that mean? Out of the certain rules of subject verb agreement, the first rule of subject verb agreement says that if the subject is singular, the verb must be singular too. That is, she being the subject is singular, hence the verb should also be singular and should be writes every day. Similarly, if the subject is plural, the verb must also be plural. For example, they write every day. So here what we find in rule 1 and rule 2 is that if the subject is singular and the verb is singular too, if the subject is plural, the verb must be plural too. Sometimes however, it seems to be a bit more complicated than this. Let us try and find out what are those cases. Rule number 3. When two or more singular subjects are joined by and they take the plural verb. Say for example, he and his brother are identical twins. So what it means is that if subjects are more than one and they are joined with this conjunction and we use the plural form of the verb. So we do not say he and his brother is identical twins. We rather say he and his brother are identical twins. The two subsets of this is rule number 3a. When two singular subjects refer to the same person or thing, the verb is in singular. Say for example, if I want to say my friend and guide who happens to be the same person. So here two singular objects we are utilizing. One, the idea of being a friend and the idea of being a guide. But they both denote the same person. In that case, the verb used will be the singular form of the verb. So in this case, you are going to say my friend and my guide has come. Similarly, we can say my wife and my partner has come. So, if both the singular subjects are meaning a single person, then we utilize the singular form of the verb. But if they are meaning two different persons, we use the plural form of the verb. Say for example, in case of the poet and the statesman are dead. So here we are denoting two different people. One is the poet and the other is the statesman. Since both of them are dead and they are two singular subjects referring to two different persons, we use the plural form of the verb. Let us try and understand the next rule. It says, when two subjects represent one idea, 
the verb is again singular so in the previous case it was two subjects referring to the same person in this case it's the two subjects referring to the same idea as in case of time and tide waits for none so time and tide are representing the same idea and hence we utilize the singular form of the verb waits let us try and understand the rule number 4 rule number 4 says that if two singular nouns are joined by and are preceded by each or every again the verb is in singular so what it says is if there are two different singular nouns which speaks of two different identities two different people but before that we are using the word each or every then again we use the singular form of the verb in the sentence the example here given brilliantly explains it every boy and every girl was given a toffee so it does not become every boy and every girl were given a toffee but rather it is every boy and every girl it was given a toffee similarly in for mathematical computation may take either a singular or a plural verb this happens to be a very complicated feeling because we do not have a hard and fast written down rule for this we depend on our years say for example we can say 2 times 3 is 6 but we say 4 and 4 are 8 so mathematical computations in case of mathematical computations it can either be a singular or a plural verb it depends on the year that we have for the phrase rule number 6 it says when two or more singular subjects are connected by or nor but neither nor either or etc we use a singular verb this is very simple to understand that in case when we are utilizing two singular subjects and we are joining them with the phrases or with the clauses like either or neither nor or with words like nor but or we tend to use a singular verb in that case say for example the chairperson or the CEO approves the proposal before proceeding. The subpart A to this point 6 is when the subjects connected by or nor are of different numbers, the verb should and the plural subject should be placed near the verb be plural for example neither james nor his lawyers were there similarly in 6b when the subjects are connected by or nor are of different persons the verb agrees to the nearest to it neither my friend nor I am sorry so we do not utilize the friend because I is nearer to the verb so we take I as the nearest verb and the verb agrees to the nearest verb and takes the form accordingly similarly neither my friend is sorry nor am I I hope this is clear to you let's come down to point number seven it says a singular subject which is followed immediately by as well as in addition to including no less than with together with all these require a singular verb the king with all his sons was arrested 
द स्टोर इन अडिशन टू द फार्म वॉज सोल्ड सो इन ऑल केसेज वेर यू यूटिलाइज दीज वर्ड्स लाइक एज वेल एज इन एडिशन टू इंक्लूडिंग नो लेस दैन विथ टूगेदर विथ दीज ऑल रिक्वायर अ सिंगुलर फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब Similarly, point eight says the singular subject followed by a plural modifier again requires a singular verb. One of the girls looks sick. A list of names of successful candidates is available. So here we need to understand that the list is the singular subject. which is followed by the plural modifier names but still since the singular subject is singular the verb also takes the singular form so we do not say a list of names of successful candidates are available we rather say a list of names of the successful candidates is available point number 9 says such indefinite pronouns like anybody anyone each either everybody neither nobody no one somebody many a uh, these generally require a singular verb for example nobody denies a fact so since we are utilizing the word the pronoun nobody we utilize the singular form of the verb denies similarly in case of the second sentence the second example anybody who cheats is dishonest okay let's try and move down to the next rule that is when the subject is a relative pronoun the verb agrees with the antecedent of that pronoun that is this is one of those problems which have many solutions so we are relating it to the antecedent pronoun and that is why you are utilizing the have form of the verb i hope this is clear let's move down to point number 11 point number 11 says a collective noun takes a singular verb when the class it names is considered as a unit a plural verb when the members of the class are considered individually say for example we take a class if the class is considered as one whole we will take it as a singular verb if the class is divided or distributed into several parts we will take it as plural the best example given here is the jury is finally complete so here jury the class is taken as one unit but the moment the jury has two different kinds of opinions they are divided among themselves so in that case what we say is the jury were divided in their opinion similarly plural numbers take a singular verb when they are used in a phrase to indicate a sum or a unit example 10 years is too long to wait so here the plural number 10 years take the singular verb is because it is used to indicate the sum of the unit the entire period of 10 years is considered here similarly 40 hours the entire period of 40 hours is considered as one unit so it says 40 hours is regular work week let's come down to rule number 13 which says certain nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning generally take the singular verb the most common of these are dynamics economics electronics ethics news physics statistics linguistics and whereabouts 
so when we say no news is good news the word news although it sounds plural actually takes a singular verb in use similarly statistics takes the singular verb in use economics will take the singular verb in use rule number 14 says there is an erroneous tendency to make the verb agree with the noun near it rather than make it agree with the proper subject now this is a problem that we keep on doing we try to utilize the noun near to it as the noun on which the form of the verb will depend instead of taking the actual subject the proper sub subject should decide upon the form of the verb as in case of the first example the quality of the shoes is not up to the mark so here shoes is not the proper subject the quality is the proper subject so naturally since we are using quality as the subject we take is as the singular form of the verb and not are because shoes is plural in the second example again the cost of essential commodities has risen considerably so commodities here is not the proper subject the cost is the proper subject hence again it becomes has and not have i hope you people have understood the subject verb agreement and i thank you all for such a patient listening if there are any queries from your end feel free to contact me at my official contact number which has been provided at the beginning of this slide or you can even write to me at my official email id which is also available in the first slide thank you all and have a good time